Are we rolling? All right. Welcome back to the Sorry We're Dabbing podcast. I'm Cameron. I'm Dewey. I'm John. I'm Tiger. Sorry if you hear a torch. We're dabbing. Sorry, we're dabbing. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Sounds we got, like that torch is dying, is actually, dying. Johnny. Big hit man's uh, getting ready here. <laughs> That's not going to work. You're not doing cold start dab, uh, blender dab yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll let you guys know uh, about that in a minute. But uh, yeah, how's everybody been doing? Been doing good, man. Um, it's been a very busy week. I uh, just wrapped up some projects and stuff. So uh, excited to be able to start... You know, just a bunch of new fresh things. Nice. Uh, I definitely got to, I'd love to be able to talk about it and share, but I unfortunately just can't just yet, but Sorry. some good Hi. things. Uh, I can mention that the the next batch of Terpwoods is ready. So nice. potentially, uh, potentially might be uh, smoking one here next week, or you'll definitely see some footage of us. Yeah. Or maybe we'll be pressing one. Oh, shit. Hint, hint. What are, what are Terpwoods for the people who don't know? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, true, true. So terpwoods are uh, terpene infused backwoods. Uh, backwoods are, you know, in my opinion, pretty much the best uh, blunt that you can get. Uh, commercially readily available. Obviously, there's you know custom wrappers and things like that, but it is definitely one of the the best blunts for for cannabis, in my opinion. That uh, Connecticut shade le- or broadleaf rather. Absolutely, just super flavorful, and we took it to the next level. So, added, uh, infused it with the terpenes. All the terpenes are uh, derived from cannabis. So, you know, everything is from cannabis, not, uh, you know, not a formulation or anything like that. Um, everything gets uh, traditionally cured. Uh, it's anywhere from a sixty to ninety day period. Okay, fresh humidor. So, uh, yeah. before you even roll the blunt, there is cannabis involved. That's kind of cool, man. Yeah, one yeah. of the coolest things is if you actually do smoke it, you get like super enhanced entourage effect. So, that yeah, I can agree with that. Like, I mean, I don't know when when you started. What was it like 2016, 2016 Some, yeah, 2017? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, when you had them uh, first coming out, at, you know, at first I wasn't too sure because and a lot of people were confused. They were. Uh, they thought they'd already come rolled, like, like yeah, they got pre-rolled and everything. Like, and then oh. they're just like a terpene infused, you know, backwood essentially, or, yep. you know, however you want to look at it. Um, but no, I can vouch for it a thousand percent. I mean, uh, you definitely get that, I don't know, entourage effect, I guess, as you're saying, or you get that, you know. And I also found it made, from, <laughs> from someone who likes to smoke a lot of blunts, it made it super easy to smoke pretty much the whole thing like yeah. sometimes uh, you know blunts can get a little rough well the other day you had that cognac and i said to you i was like usually at yeah. you know, this short it's harsh those cognacs are all right shadow tiger well, yeah, we got those for tiger but <laughs> those aren't turb yeah. those are just backwards, yeah. cognac, cognac backwards but, uh, yeah. and it's what i'm saying is like i was surprised at how short it was and how smooth it was because usually with a backwood usually when you get down to like a certain uh, point, you're kind of yeah. 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 I'd say anywhere that lasts like two, three inches. Yep. Doesn't matter how good the weed is, it's it starts, it starts getting, getting it starts getting tough. It's overpowered yeah. because there's more tobacco, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 But, well, uh, especially if you roll a cone. Yeah, if you're rolling yeah. a cone style, no matter what. Yeah. But uh, but no, I can vouch that the turp wood it does make it like it almost makes it smoother. Ooh. Right. It's cloudy in here. That big was <laughs> that was big. <laughs> he just low key he just filled the room. Normally, I would start with Tiger, but what are you uh, using today, John? I'm using a, a very small rig, <coughs> especially for a very big dab. Size <laughs> here. Smaller is baller. Definitely not used to quite this small. Um, it's made by McTrivish. Shout out McTrivish. I believe it's full Loki's lipstick. Yes. Yes. Nice. Don't remember. It's one of my older rigs for sure. I remember you um, scooping that from the Squish House. I think it was my last purchase as before an employee. Were, so Sorry, as, an, as, as a customer. As a customer, yeah. Uh, <coughs> back in the... Yeah. Back before. Yeah, the, the whole reason days. I bought it was because I didn't have any 10 mil rigs. And yep. Cam told me he'd throw in a Great Lakes 10 mil banger yep. if I scooped the rig. So, I mean, it was sold after that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good deal. Easy deal. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, tiny, tiny little rig. It almost looks like a little Sherlock dry piece, but it's not. It's got a little 10 mil Dewar in the top. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And, um, nice. Oh, incredibly tasty. I just hit this um, Taste Craft, the Fino 2, I believe it is. I think it's going to be called Waffle Cones. 
her waffle cone eventually. Nice, nice. Maybe I think he stole the siding, but there was a the little poll I saw up today, and that one was winning. So oh, the naming it? Yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah. kind of cool. <coughs> oh yeah. No, I'm very tasty. And then what? Uh, what do you got there for tops? Tops. I got the Corey top, and I that I've had. I used that it with Corey the last top episode. Insane. Yeah. Um, it's faster than slurper top, but I just got a brand new one in here. This is from Micro's Workshop. He's an American artist. Yep. Um, it's a nice little Millie marble. It's like the little turtle guy with the spikes on it from Mario. Hell yeah. Micro's, I think he's pretty famous for doing micro or uh, Mario, Mario stuff. related stuff. And you got that I from? I got this from um, Welcome to Autos. Yeah. Um, in McHenry, McHenry, Illinois. McHenry, Illinois. And yes. I grew up in just outside of McHenry, Illinois. And he's got the same name as you. His name is Cameron as well. And we actually <laughs> surprised him. When uh, we we were rolling through Illinois to see a friend of mine, and I said, "Okay, well, if we're going there, we gotta stop. And if McHenry's got a heady shop, like we have to go in there and check it out." And we had been talking on Instagram here and there, but I didn't tell him we were coming. And so we walked in, and uh, he was looking at me like, <laughs> like "You see the ghost?" And so he's like. What are you doing here right now? Right. I just saw you on Instagram and now you're here. <laughs> and uh, super nice guy. Yeah. His setup is really nice. He's got a glass studio in there and he does free yeah. glass blowing uh, classes. Okay. So you can go in there and if you wanted to learn how to make something or if so you if just want to watch. Area, yeah, stop go check in out for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of hijacked your story, but as soon as no, you yeah. mentioned, I wanted to make sure... Uh, we shouted him out, and I know you have some mood mats and stuff you got from him. So, oh yeah, yeah, I got a bunch. He hooked me up big time. Super cool dude. Oh yeah, but I yeah. got the, the micro marble and the little four pearl set. Um, yeah, those pearls are sweet. And then too. I got some mood mats here too. I'll hold them up; they might be big enough for you guys to see. Yeah, and for the listeners, they're so all uh, a Pokemon related. Pokemon though. Related. Yeah, that was a Charizard uh, with a bong that's got a Slurper and a bubble cap on it. He's wearing a Pikachu pendant. That's right. Oh, and these oh, are yeah. all um, done by Forever Rolling High and Orphan. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's number Orphan does five stuff, of hundred. Then we got this like psychedelic uh, Pikachu. tie-dye <laughs> Pikachu. Hitting a dab in the rig. Yeah. The that traditional cool. banger. Yeah. I love that one. And the last one was Jigglypuff <laughs> and he's holding a piece of like cake, cake or like a key lime pie yeah. or something like that. I like that one. That's cool. I like the little smirk. <laughs> yeah, he looks. He's got a little de- devilish smirk. <laughs> yeah. Well, shout out to Autos again, and um, yeah, yeah, it's awesome to see uh, see some more in your collection. I know you don't have a ton of U.S. artists. You've got no. the hardcore, but yeah, yeah, I mean that's that's a it's nice uh, the U.S. collection. Nice yeah. addition. It's just hard when you work at an all Canadian glass shop, obviously, right? Like definitely. You obviously, I'm mostly gonna buy from where I work. Well, and but. hey, no, like we. We get hit up all the time from U.S. artists, and I don't know. Who knows later on down the line if you collab with Canadian artists. Yep. It's a good way to get in the shop. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, we definitely, you know, love love American yeah, artists. Like, yeah, if you want yeah, American headies, go to Auto. Yeah, yeah. Autos, yeah, yeah definitely, because we don't have any. So if you're looking for American artists, Shout definitely go to Auto. It's a great guy. Yep. Um, and I do have to say that 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 marble is so clean. I know, oh, it's right? absolutely yeah. beautiful. Even the Flawless. even the the pearls. Yeah. Oh, the pearls are yeah, crazy. So They're so clean. small and so clean in detail. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's surprising. It's cool. What about uh, what about you, Tiger? Uh, I've got my gore uh, pomegranate dichro. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got a little opal here and matching bowl cap, oh, yeah. and then more highly educated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yep, shout out highly educated. Um, I chose to bring out the master. I got the 1.5 uptake. Shout out master. Like he's not doing these anymore, but honestly, I haven't seen him do a ton of recycling. Oh, that's my favorite rig that he's general. done too. He's mostly doing the uh, hash kettles now, right? Yeah. So shout out master glass. Um, and I using the control tower again. Nice. <laughs> we will actually have a hash kettle next week on the show. Uh, didn't get here in time. Uh, Definitely uh, don't want to shout out Pure Leader, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it happens. It, it happens. happens. I get Ti- it. I Ti- get it. I'm Ti- still salty, especially Tiger's, this season. Tiger's determined to get me on the old school hash. I don't know, man. I'm so set in my ways. I, I, I found what I like, and <laughs> no, I you put would, on the horse blinders, and I just you would like some good full melt for sure. Okay, 
Yeah. Yeah. I've dabbed full melt stuff before, but it's like the old school. Oh, doing the hash kettle. kettle. So you're bringing yeah. something like black hash or something. Uh, not some black hash, but I, I've got some good hash. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm open to trying it. I'll go into it with an open mind. I'm biased. <laughs> Yeah, I have the cool. I have the hash of this, so the grease bucket. So okay. I'll, I'll pass this around so you can smell it. I've had this. Yeah, Johnny's definitely had it. Of course he has. But hey, kit man. Yeah, I've got the uh, I've got the just the bubble hash version of that. Oh, wow. it smells pretty much identical. Really? Yeah. That's good. Though. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed that. Oh. I'm actually gonna dab a little bit right now. <laughs> Oh, you want to pass that back along? Thanks, man. Well, everyone's probably staring at this wheel. No, no, no. Hold on. Oh, we forgot <laughs> you. Me. What are you oh. smoking at it today? Oh, what did you God. bring? I brought the big one. Nice. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Pump so and this dump. is all fumed. It's a pump and dump. Um, I think it was one of the first drops we got. I want to say second. second. Yeah. Yeah. yeah makes sense. So yeah, it's it's a I've had it for a long time and I love it. And it's kind of cool because I got Ray, like Ray wanted one. Yeah. Like everybody loves the pump and dumps. And I tell people about them, like, yo, I have mine. I rage it all the time. Like, I find myself just going and picking up the pump and dump over and over. Oh, it's amazing. As a daily. Like, I keep amazing functioning. Like, I don't know. On average, if you're going to see which rig is on my desk, I'm dabbing out of all the time. Most I likely. The, the, I think the big one's yeah. up there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Know, it's compact, like that. a lot of function, 10 mil. I love it. Yeah. I'm smoking on some hermit wood, uh, banana papaya. You got the banana. So last episode, I said uh, I had a little bit of the banana, one dab of banana papaya left, but I would have some to uh, to share. Share, and I don't have any left, but I'll I know. share. Do I, have some share. I have some to share because you shared some with me. Tiger's got some. Sharing's so. caring, right? But I, I got mm. some of the purple cactus breath, which I'm really enjoying. Uh, that one's at the woods official through that one and then i got some of the craft grown fire uh peanut butter breath sugar cane these are all from hermit wood straight hermit wood and then the uh grandpa stash that one's the woods as well and then the hermit cookies which is a different batch from the woods as well all really nice flavorful stuff mm. i'm gonna do a dab of the uh peanut butter breath sugar cane all right i also brought the wheel today. I there didn't bring the, the wheel, wheel but yep. we got all the, not all the challengers lit, ready. We got one blank one for the, um, will that be a hash? It would be that kettle toke when we get it. But for now. Okay. The but what is it for now? Dealer's choice? Like, the blank or? one, it'll be, you have to pick a pie. So you could, you could steal a dab from anyone on the table or you could pick one of the challenges. You can have a bong dab, cold start uh, on a blender, tie nail dab, blunt rosin dab, and tiny rig. That's this. Uh, who's this by? That's, That's by yours. Just Trot. Yeah, so a little brain dart right there. <laughs> <laughs> small. Yeah. That's a, that is, yeah, yeah, that's a micro for sure. The nail is almost. Like, it actually nail takes up more. It is technically more. bigger. Yeah. yeah. That almost. Maybe that almost is. Uh, water even. We can I'd, add I'd water probably call Johnny's a micro. I call that even smaller. Than that. It's almost <laughs> nano. Yeah. Listen to the function. They're great, though. Honestly, they're great. <laughs> that is impressively loud for something so Next small. Next to no water in it, too. Yeah. 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 So, uh, <coughs> I volunteered to go first on the wheel. Okay. Everybody accepts the uh, challenges? You prepared? Yeah. It's yep. Kinda, no, I'm, kinda kinda have I'm not prepared. Yeah. But... Okay, I'm going to go first. All right. We got we to gotta put a funny sound into this. <laughs> Big money. Big money. Let's uh -oh. go. Big money. Uh-oh. Tie nail death. It's oh. got to go around at least once, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, Dewey got a blender gold start. And it's out of the bong, too. So it's a little bit of both. The bong. Well, you've got to use the bong. It's 14 mil, and that's the blender. I don't have... Okay. Yeah. Wait, the blender's 14? Oh, shoot. You got it? Yeah. should have told me. We could have brought gold another start rig this out. One. All right. I don't have to do two challenges. Thank you, John. <laughs> Just got to wait for it to uh, to dry off now. This should be good. Okay. I gotta and for this. you know what? 
I'm feeling kind of brave today. So, uh, Johnny, you want to spin on my behalf? I'll go second while we're waiting Absolutely for that, too. Sir. <laughs> while we're waiting for that, uh, that blender to dry. Round and round she goes. Come on, come on. Here we go. And, oh. and from me. Yeah. Right. Like, still 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 can. uh, can't what you got over there. Bruh. Um, I, I know. Man, where were you? Yeah, yeah. I got I just had a breath, sugar cane. <laughs> I got purple cactus breath. I got grandpa's stash. And I got cookies. The grandpa's stash. No grandpa's. No? Uh most well, funky. I like that one. <laughs> I'll take a dab of the purple cactus. All right. Yeah. That awkward sound was me reaching. Wait, which one did you say? Purple cactus? Purple cactus, yeah. All right. So one. because uh, I'm doing a blender cold start, I got to consult with the uh, expert. I saw this guy do it successfully. What's the tips and tricks? How do I do this successfully? Heat the bottom for Five seconds, then heat one side for four to six seconds, then the other side to four to six seconds. Okay, is there any technique to where I put the hash, how I put the hash? I put it on my pillar and then put the pillar in with the hash on the top end. At least, like, you know what I mean? I drop that in. There's too much going on here. <laughs> I hope ready. hopefully I figure this out. I'm gonna do Johnny proud. Nice. Cam just took a, a big fat glob on the uh, control tower there. Cam, where are you dabbing on there, bro? Oh, when you get a sec. That was some of the uh, peanut butter breath sugar case. Okay. At 460 degrees. Cheers. Temp boys. What do you uh? What do you give the rating? Nine two. Nine two? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Starting off with a bang. Mm. I, I think... like all the hermit wood stuff. I'm I'm uh I'm biased. I don't <laughs> know. I'm gonna say eight nine on the uh papaya, banana papaya. Eight nine. Okay. I like it. It's really good. And you're a tougher critic, so yeah, yeah I will pretty, accept uh, that. I think I gave it a nine seven or nine six last episode. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I gotta be hard on him. I don't know. I don't expect you to give much over a nine. You're kind of like the Dave of of uh, Dave Port- the Portnoy. Dave. Yeah. You're just the Dave Portnoy. It's gonna have to him. really be some insane to even crack over a nine. I think for you. So it's just I'm trying to think of. It's what good. I, I think that nine. I think that's a good fair. Number because you gave. Like, I, for what I know your scale to yeah, be, yeah. that's a good number. I don't know. I'm going to say it the way Dave says it is um, uh, if you, like, if you get, it's like figure skating. If you give a 10. How do you give a 10 again? What exactly. if you see something better? Exactly. It's like you can never. No, I, I agree know. with that. I yeah. do agree. Oh yeah. I'm doing a, this off the big one. Right. I don't. I don't do that. <laughs> oh, you got it. Okay. <laughs> So far, I don't like this wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to spin it for you next? Uh, you can steal one back. And, yeah, well, give me, give me a second. Because oh, if I get tied now, oh yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, true. Not He's weighing his options. I think smart dude, you man. Gotta go up again. Yep. Thanks, man. There you go. All right. All right. I'm almost done. Can I borrow your pillar? Oh Jesus. Um. Which one do you want, the fatty or the skinny? What do you think is better? You're the expert with the cold start blenders. I use the skinny one. Just what's that. Okay. Cold start blenders. And then Tiger's getting ready to... How big? Let me see the size. Do the dab he got from me. Do five, five, five. I got a big smirk on my Five on the bottom, big five hit. on the side, <laughs> five on the other side. All right, big hit, man, with the... Five, five, five. If it's not, if you don't see the hash boiling, though, do another second longer. Okay, okay. Okay. Timmy's getting ready. Tiger's stealing his dab. There you go. 
Oh. Does it taste better because it was stolen? It does, actually. Yeah. Yep. That's so, why it's on. It's, it's a 12 now. <laughs> <laughs> it's stolen. Bonus points. All right. You ready, Dewey? I think so. Five, five, five. Oh, I need a marble. Okay, have a marble. Put it on after? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Here, Here we go. go. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Went too early. I'm too. What? It's not bubbling yet. Okay, wait. It's going to go soon, though. I think it's good. I yeah. think it's good. Let's see. Ooh, it's good. melting. Okay, I'm just going to hit it. Here we go. Give it a whirl. Did you put the hash on the pillar? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Little dab, but I think you need to give it another heat. Heat up. There you go. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Beauty. There you go. There you go. Beauty. Johnny's on to something. <laughs> Gold start blender. That looks beautiful. <laughs> All right. A little harsh, though. <coughs> might have gone a little... Because of the, the reheat. The reheat might have gone yeah. a little too long. There you go. Clear that and you're done. <laughs> yeah. You've done it all. Congratulations. I feel like... Done it. Not, I don't feel like a big hit, man. I was about to say that. I do not. But that was good. You're a cold star <coughs> blender, man. Cold star blender. <laughs> That's too many letters for you. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It would be kind of cool, though. <coughs> extra, 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 extra long shirt. So I guess... The Johnny? Top. Are you going to spin before me? Oh. You guys should rock, paper, scissors. And then we'll tell the listeners. Yeah. I think rock, paper, scissors. Let's rock, paper, scissors. So what are we doing? Like, one, two, three, go. go? Or is it one, two, go? One, two, three, go. All right. Three, go. Both agree? Three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Rock. Rock. It's me. I lost. That means you get to pick. You get to go or you get to lose. Oh, I'm definitely like, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's very obvious. You, got to, you want to spin it yourself? I'll try to spin it. All right. So Cam's getting up for this one. <laughs> Walking over to the uh, wheel. Big money. Big money. Let's go. Oh, tiny, tiny rig. rig. Oh, that's not that. That's not that. It's not steel a dab. Oh, do we have a carb cap? Uh, we have I can one. grab. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. That'll yeah. work. It's a little sticker. You going to cold start? Or are you going to dab right? Or are you going to dab left? Here, try some it's of like this. Cold oh, that, that makes me feel better. I guess. I think I'll just cold start on the little Yeah, bag. that makes sense yeah. to me. <coughs> I dodged the tie nail dab, at least. That's the only <laughs> one I wasn't. And it's so funny because that would have just been dabbing in the day. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah, Back in the just, day, yeah. That was just the way you did it. It was so, not a punishment. No. no. And I'm sure there's listeners out there that are, you know, they, they're like, what are you guys talking about? I know there's still people to this day that... Swear we'll by swear time. by titanium. Yep. Oh yeah. Old swings, uh, the domeless. They just say that's the way to go. Yeah. And I, mean, I have to respectfully disagree, but what's cool is Tyga insisted on we seasoned it because we were getting them all ready. And uh, Tyga asked, "Is it seasoned?" I looked at him with a shit-eating grin and I said, "No, <laughs> it's not." And 
And then he was like, okay, like, let's, and I was like, okay, like, I, I don't want to put hash on it. Like, I'll dab out of it. Tyga put a little bit on there. The smell of that, of, of the seasoning, for those who don't know, you old school nails, you, you used to season them. You used to, like, get them dirty. You'd want a layer of that on the tie nail. Yeah, kind anyway. of the same way as cooking. Otherwise, you say you, you don't, you, I, I don't know if it's, it's bro science or not, but. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I did it, and it, it, uh, I liked it. It yeah. really worked better. Maybe it was psychological. So, but yeah. the like smell, cooking. the smell of that. <laughs> Brought me back to like that smelt like dabbing way back, like way back, like in high school. That reminded me of dabbing in high school. So yep. um the same way Tiger the other episode volunteered the bong dab. I'm going to volunteer a tie dab. You're gonna volunteer one. Yeah. I'm okay. Because the that that brought me back, man. I gotta hey. try that. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I will yeah. do it this episode. I have strong feelings once. You do once, and all of us do it. It's going to be exactly like blunt rosin. <laughs> I think it's it's like in your mind, you're like, ah, this is going to be horrible. I remember, but when you being... actually do it, I think it'll just be like, I don't eh. know, man. I don't know. And a little little bit hotter than you. Way usual. back when I was I... using Thai, I was dabbing some shit. Now I'm dabbing some, some good shit. Yeah, I mean, you I know? dab some good shit on Thai, and yeah, I I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't I I don't want to go back. Yeah, I, I yeah. agree. I totally agree. With that. We'll find out. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> we'll start uh, there we we'll go. Start, uh... yeah. Do we have the proper cap for that tie nail? Yes. Nice. That's something I never had. I never That's did bad. this. <laughs> no, that was. That was, that's not bad, that but like, yeah, I was there at one point, but eventually I did get the cap, and I was like, okay, this makes sense. Needs a little more water. Uh, we have a little more water. We have the... Like if anyone else gets it. Needs a little bit more water. So I've uh, recovered off that purple cactus breath, and uh, I think it was a solid 8.4. Nice. Yeah. And that's more so personal preference on the profile. Yeah, that's right. how a lot yeah. of it is, like, man. Exactly. Like I just said, I just recovered. It's all so flavor, man. Yeah, that had me woozy for a sec. It's the all same right. thing like uh, like yeah. food, man. Some people like this, some people like that. For the next oh, one who no gets water. it, a little splash more water. That's okay. We it was did, it was a it was a dirty. tiny rig dry toke, which I guess we don't have in there. Dry anywhere. toke could be one, yeah. You just dump the water out because I tried to not get it. Uh, I guess we, we throw can this whole thing in, in the, the, uh, the dunk. <laughs> yeah, the whole the thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that would be hilarious. You smoke a dab. That would be a funny video, and then you just put it in the yeah. the, the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole yeah, thing. We could do that. I guess the water would kind of dilute the ISO, but right. I don't know. Live life. <laughs> be a funny video. How was uh how was that dab? That was not bad at all. Again, it was uh a little harsher just being a smaller rig and no water, but it was super tasty, honestly. Um caveman proxy. <laughs> right? <laughs> like I would give it I don't know, eight, six, but I'd have to try it again, like on a control tower yeah. or something. <laughs> it was terpy, but yeah, it was a little little harsh, just small rig. Small rig, yeah. No water. <laughs> Yeah. Water would help. Water would have helped a bit, I think. Yeah. yeah. But t- super tasty. <coughs> Probably better than hitting it off this, but <laughs> Dewey's uh I'm not eyeing the, the rig now and just I'm looking just at it up and down. Now. Brings me back. I remember. I know. Looking at it, it is funny. I, yeah. I wasn't always quartz only, you know? You were a tie. I was only. never tie only. That I never had that at but were, were you a ceramic only? There was a time when I only dabbed off streams. We never had the ad. No, I've always been quartz only. Ever, ah. s- ever since I got rid of these. But I guess I'm going to do it again. It's a throwback. It reminds the smell of it like was nostalgic. And that's why I'm, I'm like tempted to dab it because it's like, oh, it's crazy. <laughs> how, uh... well, before are you, are you going to do it before Johnny spins? No, like, I'm he just, might be I'm the just first. Yeah, he can go ahead. Technically, yeah. might be the first to christen it on yeah. the Sorry We're Dabbing podcast. You can do that, yeah. Unless you are no, I'm not in that much of a rush. I'm not in that much of a rush. 
And I'm going to enjoy it. I know I, I'm not going to enjoy it, actually. I don't know. But Johnny is, chances are, I don't know. And take, take a, a dab, dab from, from Dewey. Dewey. <laughs> yeah, boy. So I got some GMO. <laughs> I got some grape Skittles and some banana. banana You open the grape skills, we haven't smoked them yet. No, but no. But, and what was the other two? Banana, papaya, GMO. GMO. So give me the banana, papaya, because I know you haven't even tried the other two yet. So I'll be nice. No, you can. Don't be nice. You can take them. He's big hit, man. The banana, yeah. papaya you is remember. also. Yeah, you papaya. can. Remember. Oh, yeah, it's nothing wrong with this. Yeah, <laughs> I know. All right, big hit, man, gets a steel dab. <laughs> I guess I get to christen the time. You now. get, hey, that's the reward after giving up the dab. <laughs> and that's the punishment. Like, we're taking your dabs, we're smoking time. Now you can smoke. <laughs> Come on, the story we're to have a podcast. Do you want to smoke my really good hash on the Thai now? Or do you want to? Oh, you want to soften the blow, same as Tiger? Yeah, why not? That's nice. This is going to be All like right. a theme. They're helping this table. Oh, that's on you, man. That's up to you. Or would you rather just like take a dab of this when it's not a Thai nail? I don't know. Let's try it. If you're offering, yeah. yeah, I don't know if we should waste it though. Like, I feel like hey, you know. I feel like you want you to try it the proper <laughs> way. Either, 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 no, he can have the dab regardless. I just would rather him dab it off of course. Either way, I'm gonna it. smoke some fire off of Thai, which is gonna be kind of weird because the only time I've ever dabbed off of Thai was some stuff made in a garage. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know. That okay. was way back. I, uh, I've i definitely dabbed some good stuff on Thai, like I said. Um, I've had some full melt. Definitely ran through a shit ton of flags all over those Thai nails on, especially the ones we hooked up to uh, E-nails way back in the day. That smells, that smells interesting. Yeah? What does it smell like? Describe it. A beach. The beach? Yeah. yeah, it smells like the beach. Like the beach? I don't know. I smell it. Smell it. It smells like a beach to me. I don't know. Clean. Like, a, like I don't know. I, I can't describe that. It smells weird. It's really good. Um, What is that? Taste it. What is it? Strawberries. Strawberries, strawberries I was going to say. It's, it's supposed to be like sour strawberries or something. Yeah, I smell like a hint of strawberries of and maybe beach ball. That's not what it's good. Yeah. It could be called. <laughs> beach ball. <laughs> Get the beach in there for you. Some bad blowing up. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm like the real Dewey Cox and I'm smell blind. Maybe. Well, you do always have some interesting yeah, um, that's yeah. descriptions of turf. I'm smell blind. <laughs> I'm the real Dewey Cox. I am smell blind. Wrong kid died. <laughs> yeah, you will see. You do have some very interesting like descriptions of the harsh turfs. judge. So it's like can't it, smell. It, nothing like what it's supposed <laughs> to be, but it's like, okay, all right, whatever. Yeah. This one smells like a swimming pool. <laughs> yeah. I like I don't think I would ever list that. Like, oh, I'm like derby broke really? a swimming pool. And then you're like, it's great. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Have you heard of those berries that change your uh, perception of taste? No. So you eat these berries and like things switch around on your palate. So what happens is like your for a duration of time, like things that are sour taste really sweet. So, like, uh, a lemon, for example, might be, like, really, really sweet. Like, almost like, like an orange a candy. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I wonder what uh, dabbing on those would be like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that would be put interesting. It your, yeah. Put it in the comments. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll try out the berries. We'll uh, see what... We'll, we'll, uh, see what... we'll get a whole bunch of different flavors of Terps, and we'll, we'll try it out. It's like, there's also another thing where... Um... I, I think it's it's some some form of natural plant thing. I, I don't know what exactly what it's called, but you 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 take this thing and then you can eat really really sour and spicy stuff. I wonder if that would affect it too. Mm. I forget what mm. that's called. I'm bro, more bro science stuff I've heard, bro. <laughs> but like, I wonder what would happen if anyone knows what happened. it is. Put in the comments. Yeah. Uh, but we will look into this because it sounds quite interesting. 
And it's just some kind of berry. Yeah, the the these berries, they have something in them. It's a compound that essentially And it's clearing your palate so you taste the turps more. No, it's no. making it, you it, taste it switches them around. So you, for a period of time, everything tastes uh different than what it usually tastes like. That's interesting. But there's a portion of people it doesn't work on. Really? Yeah. So I've seen a whole bunch of videos on YouTube where people like will try <coughs> different foods, like gummy bears and things like that. And just like, they'll try just anything to see how it tastes mm-hmm. on, on these berries. And yeah, it's, it's quite interesting to see how they perceive taste compared like when they're on these berries, but like, it's never really a hundred percent of the people. There's always maybe anywhere from two to three people in a group of like 10 that just, I find like, they're like, it tastes just like normal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we should we'll check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us in the comments if you want us to check this out. Cause uh, this could be a thing. Yeah. I'm interested. I'm down to try that. Yeah. yeah. Eat some berries. Smoke some know. hash. I already do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so what do we got going? I'm here? gonna smoke a tie dab. You're gonna Johnny's tie stealing dab? stealing a dab from me. Yeah. Are you cold he... starting it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big I wasn't sure ready. if that was the new uh <coughs> the I am new not thing. cold starting it, by the way. <laughs> That's no, yeah. That's a big N O. Neither am I. I'm not gonna cold start on that. I don't yeah, know how that would I, work. I, I don't, I don't know. know it would work. Cold start tie dab. 100% it would work. But you would definitely torch the hash. (laughs) It's interesting to watch such a young person try this. Although Dewey said he did have experience. He has had his titanium days. Yeah. Been there. It's been a long, long time for me. Four years, five years for me, easily more than that. Probably. Yeah, that's uh, six, five, six. Yeah, seven. somewhere around there. It's been a long time. I do see my 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 nail though. It just sits there. I have a little. Um, I guess it's a graveyard now. <laughs> it's just a, it's just, it's just, use, a con- yeah. it's just a container, and it's got like all the different coils for the e nail. So I've got like. Uh, you know yeah, the different coils. Like, like, like there's right the flat now, one. There's the uh, there's the eighteen. Going in hot and hurting. Oh, here. okay, okay. So I'm gonna well, you stop don't have what to go I'm hot. saying. It's just tiny. Ooh, ooh. Woo. Yeah. So Dewey didn't need a carb cap. No, that's gone. Fatality. That's how we did it back in the day, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was, we got a good, yeah. nice, cool 700 degrees. Oh yeah, that <laughs> smells like back in the day. Holy fuck. How long are you? It supposed smells like to a spice. Factory I have no right idea. Now. That is what we did back then. You know in the what's day. terrifying? What are you supposed fuck to do? Is like a hot dab, like a way too hot dab on that would hurt more than a hot dab on this. That wasn't that bad. That was okay? Yeah. No cap needed. Fuck. I'm, just... I'm living life. It's roasted. <laughs> Got you. Like some God bacon. Damn. Fried up like some bacon. Yeah. Who else is going to do it? Come on. <laughs> no? I, I'm not going to volunteer for it. That's a good time. No. No, oh, God, God, please, no, no. Hey, Cam's yeah. eyeing it pretty hard. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. He's uh, just looking at it like it's an old squeeze, you know? Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, <laughs> That's not as bad as I remember it. That's hilarious. <laughs> the tie nail dab. Mm. And he was so close to hitting it. Yeah. One more a over. One more over. Yeah. Lucky guy. And then look, you're really like not safe in that zone. Tie no. nailed that blunt it gets, rosin. It dab, gets really, tiny rig, yeah. which isn't bad. And then I don't know what that blank will be, but it'll be hash kettle. Hash kettle. I guess if we do that, it'll be hard because it's not just one toke. It's kind of like a joint. It, it goes for a while. Yeah, I guess you can put a little piece in it and yeah. do it. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think that one through. Hash kettle might turn into everyone having to do the hash kettle. Yeah, pretty much. I guess that could be a thing. Yeah, it just Ooh. means oh, big hit man. You just Pass. spun it, and now we all big got hit man made it real cloudy. So there's a risk every time we all spin for that. 
the BP. Sorry, I had to get in for a whiff. Hey, hey yo. yo. <laughs> that smells very good. Using this new marble. Yeah. That's nice. Man. It works. A yeah. plus. A plus. Big hit, man. Function. You don't want to try a big hit off this? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you dig into the GMO. Wah, wah, wah. On the tie nail? Like, no. Yeah. No, honestly, no. No? I feel bad. I mean, but like, I might wait. Don't feel bad. How long should you wait? I don't know. I'd, Why? I'd, you I'd, don't need to wait. You could torch it up again. You don't taste it at all. <coughs> it tastes burnt. No, I mean, how long should I wait after it goes red? Longer than me. Wait, how, what it, temp do you want it at? I don't know. Just I want to use this. Use your dab. <laughs> yeah, use a dab, right? Use how does it doesn't even fit. Yeah, I don't really. care. No, it doesn't It'll still help, work. though. Uh, uh, it'll work. Yeah. Uh, use your dab right on it. So, uh, for the listeners, it's cool. basically oh, just the perfect size the to just get yeah, over the idea. dish, but not sit over yeah, it. Yeah, use terpometer, too. The sidewall. Fuck. Use terpometer Using on the a sidewall. terpometer on a tie nail? Why not? Can you do that? Yeah, Why not? <laughs> right there. Just a contact. One or this one? Yeah. Yeah, probably that one. Yeah, this yeah, one. The, the OG. One. All right, fuck it. Oh, you're going to do it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It's good. It's a throwback, man. It brought me back. Okay. So, Shout out the homies you used to dab with. They don't dab anymore, man. Get your quartz game up. They don't have nothing. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't fit. <laughs> it so will work. It, it, it doesn't. So it, it fits, doesn't cover. Like it. It, it covers it, the it inside. Will seal if you go perfect. No, it'd be nice if it went inside. It's like just. Too big to fit inside. Sits right on top. Oh, okay, okay. Way too small to go. It's, but it seals. Oh, that'll it, seal. You know what's yeah. funny is I said that like last time I did that was like so 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 long ago, but like it actually wasn't that long ago. It's cool to know how long dabbing innovated like that. Like I think I might ten have years it, ago. Yeah. That's how dabbing it probably a less little bit than longer. That, than. Less than that. Really? Yeah. Damn. I hate how these things are made for right-handed. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? As a lefty, southpaw. Right, it's upside down. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. I'd measure the top, man. Push down on it. Yeah. Then it don't matter. Yeah. It won't go in there, though. That's the thing. You just got to measure the top, like the side. It's of the... pretty even heat, so mm-hmm. like the dish is going to be pretty much. I'm just seeing where it was at. It's like oh. Just under 200. It's still warm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's titanium. Oh, yeah. See, I'm such a quartz guy now. I'm like. It's still warm. Bing bong. So ceramic, man. Ceramic it would be too. Come on, Johnny. Cam and I are doing it. I'll supply the GMO. Well, why is this guy getting out? We're going to work on Tyga after because then it'll be all three of us. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Because if all three of us have done it, then Tyga has the GMO, to. I guess. He's been scheming. Brought the GMO for a reason. <laughs> Got two jars. Because a new big hitman is going to so, dig into one. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have noticed we've taken uh, a little bit more dabs than we usually do uh, in this amount of time. So, you know, our rigs are going to get pretty filthy. What do you do, guys do for uh, cleaning? For me, I'm a big Heady yeah. Eddies guy. Yeah. I I swear by using Heady Eddies. Uh, I give it a finishing touch with some ISO after that. Johnny's giving me a smirk. You don't... What's your, what's your, what's your process? I... Acclimate the piece with hot water. Yep. Get it nice and warm. Get some oil. Uh, oil. Jesus Christ. We have been smoking a bunch of dabs. Get some water boiling. Yeah. Put the heady eddies in the warm piece. Water. Leave it for 15 minutes. Come back. Rinse it. Rinse it out with water good. Then I'll throw some 99 ISO just for a quick shake and shine. And that's it. After it, just let it dry. Yep. I'll do the same. Cool. Same. You like that, eh? Same the exact same. Same thing. Nice. Eddie Eddie's. Or um sometimes just ISO. Yeah, I found that Hetty Eddie's, like I left a piece, uh, this is bad. Like I have multiple pieces, so like this is when I don't know. Sometimes you let a piece get dirty and then you let it sit there. And that's when it's bad. And uh it's actually sat in the windowsill in my kitchen and the reclaim on it cooked on it. Hetty Eddie's couldn't get it out, so I had to let it soak in ISO and ISO ended up taking it out. Yeah. But like for yeah. quick clean, no, Heady Eddie's is nice because I, I like Heady Eddie's. I don't have to end up doing one of these. 
So use a hot, I, I rinse with hot water and then ISO. Yeah. Um, if I notice anything else, I'll use the, like a very long DC stuff. So I'll just let it sit in my team for like a week, a month, whatever, and then just drain it. I find that gets rid of pretty much anything that's worked for me for I a long so, time, so yeah. that's just what I use. I uh, I know you have a lot of flower pieces too. So yeah. what do you? How do you clean your bowls? Um, I actually let them soak in something called Simple Green. Mm-hmm. You get it from like Canadian yeah, Tire yeah, or whatever. Yeah, I know it's that like stuff. cheap. But um, you can also let them sit in isopropyl as well. But and I find hot water. Just got hot water rinse gets out. Yeah, gets them pretty clean most of the time too. Yeah. And like very clean, rarely do I ever really actually have to soak them. Yes. Like I'll hit them two or three times, and then mm. I run them under the tap with hot water and use a Q-tip. Like it, you can pretty much get it all clean. Yeah. And speaking of uh, cleaning, we did mention it like the last time, uh, but like distilled water, I like to try and change it every time I come home. And like the pieces there, I'll just go and even yeah. if the piece is a little bit like I dabbed out of it for a few days, I'll yeah. still like before I clean it, I'll just go and change the water real quick before I just make a few dabs. Yeah. Nice. I, um, for me, I'm, I'm pretty close to Johnny. What I do is I run hot water through it to loosen up any sort of build up on the inside. Yeah, exactly. I give it a quick little shake. I find a lot of the, like the reclaim just comes exactly. right out with the hot water. I find getting the piece hot with the hot water too also helps when you add the ice. Yeah, Cause exactly. then the ice is slightly it, warm yeah, it and it'll work warm. better yeah. as a solvent it's if it's warm. It. Exactly. I add the, uh, add the ISO. I let it kind of do its thing. Shake it around, give it a quick rinse. I do a quick rinse yeah. through with hot water again, and then I use DC or I use a uh, cord saver. We'll keep that temp a secret. Yeah, d- you, know, you just do a rinse with DC. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, I use I really, it as like a heavy soak soaker. I use it as a, kind of like a like a rinsing agent almost, like just yep, to kind of give it saying. like a nice shine. So like quick maintenance every time, as opposed to like letting it bad and then doing a yeah. soak. Yeah, exactly, and I find it's just like you know, just really nice. Okay, tasty. <laughs> Can't really like that tight dab. He uh, he got to use the carb cap, so that was nice. Yeah, if you got a Q-tip, pass me one. Yeah. Oh. What temp? <coughs> Six forty. Six forty. All right. Show me how it was done. That's a, like the reason I did that is because like I wanted to go yeah, back to how I did. Though, eh? Ooh, that's oh. a a wiggly is? I don't want that to I didn't hear that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, hell no! <coughs> no. <coughs> but you know what? <coughs> how was that, Cam? You guys got to do it now. If you hit it on a decent time, <laughs> it's not that, that bad. Ain't, that ain't shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dope. that's the, that's what I mean. It's like the blunt rods all over again. <laughs> What temp like, did you go in at? What was that? 640? 6 fire tea? Going around there. Oh, that's hot. A little lower. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Go lower if you want. Take that. No, I'll go around that. That's what you did. I'll go with that. All right. It was it's good. I still bad. I still had stuff to clean up. So that's still. Okay. So that like six so, right now? <laughs> now we got to convince Tyga. So now these punishments are getting less and less. Yeah, now, but, if it was yeah, hot, tie like nail going... dab. Yeah, if yeah. If it was a hot no. tie nail dab, which I do not want to change it to, I think that's what this should be. No, that's yeah, not that's fair. Like, that's not fair. Is that how you're gonna? Do I don't it? want that. That's how Cam did it. I yeah. did it on this side. Yeah. Nice. I like that one. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. It's because of the tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two seventies. You should have left that dab on there. You need a torch? Oh, just left it on? Yeah. yeah, true. Just leave your leave your dab on there, please. You got two torches. Yeah, I guess that's true. Didn't have to clean it. We could just keep letting it. I got time. It's not in there. there. Don't touch it, dude. Just flopping around. I'm yeah. afraid to heat it up. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! <laughs> um, well, it, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's... Do you really want to... Have you pushed down on it with the turpometer? Yeah. I did. I was trying. I don't want to break the turpometer by applying too much pressure, though. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you, uh, no. you guys can just torch might, it on the table. Oh, yeah, I just might move all my expensive and... glass off away from the torch area. And maybe just blast it maybe on not on your brand new mood mat. Yeah, that too. Right. 
And then you're good to go. This is getting more and more sketch. Here. Tie now. Tie now. That's an expensive handful right there. I can't I believe I can't believe I started I have a this. Perfect place for it. Oh, for beautiful. Me. That's very convenient. Thank you so much. Look at that. Perfect. You're safe. You were talking about cleaning. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, for rigs, a lot of the time, like Dewey was saying, if you just, if you change the water enough, I find ISO can be enough. But again, sometimes if you just rage a rig for a bit, you get a bunch of globs in there. Might not be, uh, ISO might not be enough. Then I'd say, yeah, heady eddies. I used to use um, Formula 710. Mm -hmm. I used to swear by that one way back. And um, the Green Goddess yeah. 710 one is good Goddess too. I don't use it too. enough. Yeah. I find I just kind of go to Eddie Eddie's or the ISO yeah. for more for flower pieces right away. I think Green Goddess, but honestly, the 710 one uh, works great. Will work great for bangers. Yeah. So that one's good too if you want to. Yeah. In the mix, right? I've yeah. used like a more powerful ISO. I think the only really other than ISO and DC or Quartz Saver, I find them kind of to be interchangeable. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, but they seem to be kind of the same. Yeah, yeah. same sort of idea. Part, yeah. Yeah. Same sort of kind of idea. I found like just kind of like Coke Pepsi type thing. Yep. Yeah, yep. very, very yep. similar. Yeah. Like not exactly, but yeah. Johnny whatever. swears by DC a lot. I mean, yeah, I used to use I, I like it religiously DC. when we we're like just using like a banger like that. Yeah. I'm more dunk stations now because of, uh, you know, the blenders. Just, and yeah. All that. It makes life a lot easier. Exactly. Um, but, and also, uh, none of us have used one yet on the pod and we may get flack who knows if we do i'll probably bring one out but uh the face face i know you brought it up earlier mm. yeah um then you're kind of just q-tip right i'm not really using dc with that so yeah. that was a whole different <laughs> yeah, yeah. game for a while there <clears throat> yeah that... i know there's a lot of controversy with it but no matter what Man. at the end of the day when you're dabbing with like it's a whole different experience yeah. it's it's almost like when you have the control tower like when that was first around it was yep. like game changing yeah and it, it still is yeah great. i like the uh, uh, uh the uh s tier yeah yeah oh I yeah like that one yeah the that, aluminum nitride i believe it was yep but uh i feel like just now I, I, i'm surprised i'm on the wave i was very like nah i like my setup i'm not big on the blenders i tried them here and there i was like ah, i'm wasting my dab i'm not enjoying it but once I figured out how to actually like how to yeah, maintain it, like, how to dab with it, yeah. it's kind of like every kind yeah. of nail is it's a, a no different like, it's, maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I find, yeah, they all have kind of their own things. Um, I'm honestly just throwing everything these days just in like a soaker. Well, you yeah. have it now, right? Like, so why just, not? It's yeah, right there. I'm using like, less yeah. Q-tips. I still just, use them, this but banger, like whatever it is, like I just throw it in there. Yeah. Like for the most part. I throw carb caps in there, just anything. It's just it's convenient. It cleans them really well, and yeah, keeps the just that maintenance down, like in between, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, the only other thing I, I find myself using from time to time is Zep. Um, Zep, yeah, I've heard of uh, people do using Zep for sure. Yeah. So I use that for quartz sometimes. Like if it's really, I find if it's like you know it needs like an SOS and it's like really caked on. You've tried anything. Um, oh. just to Sorry. soak in yeah. and zap for maybe like 30 minutes to like an hour. Yeah. Like huge, 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 like, um, I guess degreasing. <laughs> that's, that's what it's supposed to do, right? Yeah. yeah. As long as you're, you know, rinsing everything really well after. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's the big thing you want to make sure after you're using these cleaners. Oh yeah. Always rinse with. Uh, tap and then distilled for the I, final like rinse. I, yeah for the final rinse yeah i do yeah. tap if you're using a lot of it to rinse like if you're rinsing a lot of tubes or a lot of big pieces like you rinse with tap just final rinse i do distilled maybe distilled twice even yeah to be extra safe because the first one's going to have a little mix of tap water in it still when it's trying and then yeah. throw a little more yeah exactly. it's a process yeah. for sure but and i know you're supposed to really just use you know iso is the last rinse clean iso is the last rinse but for long-term you storage yeah, yeah. if I you're mean, gonna use the piece again immediately yeah, like, yeah whatever yeah. but for long-term storage yes I, I well i find there's not, you can't get every little bit of like liquid out of most of my pieces no. 
I don't think there's a single piece I have where I can get every drop of water out. No. So there's always a little bit of ice on there. You yeah. have to wait for it to dry. Or exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. T- sometimes it's in a weird place where it doesn't dry. It's like a vacuum yeah. tube. You can do that. Yep. Or an air pump. Or there's um, people who are risky but have apparatuses where they hang them upside down or whatever. And yeah, I've seen a bunch of... I don't know. That's, <laughs> it makes me nervous. Mm-hmm. But if yeah. you got your system, you got your system. Well... On that, my one the fill piece I brought last episode, I I actually let it dry flat because it's so sturdy. Upside, It'll stay upside up. down, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just let it sit there on paper towels. If it's a piece like that, okay, but well, you know I'm talking. Oh people yeah, using, like, no, like, crazy no. Rigs and that. Or like I'm a like, bong Whoa. with like a big, like the bottom is a big thing, and if you flip it, it's like top. Yeah, yeah, no. But I have I have heard of the vacuum, reverse vacuum or vacuum. Yeah. Big hit man. Here we go. Big hit man is getting ready. Just torching up the titanium. Now, was that, <laughs> what's in the DeLorean? We're going back in how time. Big, like, how big was that dab? Like that how, was a decent sized dab. You think? I don't know. Like, you think Big Ham, Hitman should go in? Hotter? I think if you go cool. in at a decent temp, what? Well, what is he dab? That? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it might have been. Yeah, it was about that size. Yeah, so six, maybe slightly. I didn't go massive. Yeah. Six forty. It's an average dab. Right? I'd say six because I wasn't sure if I was wasting it or not, so I didn't want to go too too much. But did a decent, decent dab. Okay, okay. That I used, I did the cookies there on that one. What did you give the cookies? I was, I was afraid you were going to ask that. So, um, off the tie, you know what? It was still really tasty. I'd say 8-3 off the tie. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. And keep in mind, everyone, we don't regularly dab off ties, so yeah, I would any, get again. Any, yeah, that's another one that of, I would want to yeah. do on the control tower, just like the one you gave me. I would probably give it a little bit higher of a score, I'm sure. Yeah, you'd be able to taste um, the turps. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you could taste the turps with this, but you still got that like titanium, that old school, like that titanium. Saying it's only five forty, but fuck it. I'm just- Leave the dab on there, no matter what. Just let it cook. Yeah. <laughs> it look low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Not bad, right? Yeah, it looked like that was low. It always smells so spicy. Yeah. No, I smell GMO there. <coughs> Spice. I smell GMO. I can't, I, I'm smell blind. I'm Dewey Cox. It's a harsh GMO for sure. It's a <laughs> spicy GMO. I I'm smell blind. <laughs> I'm, I am smell blind. I don't get the GMO portion over here. It has, it doesn't like so what did you think, blind. Johnny? <laughs> like, I've had the hash before and I'd give it a much higher rating. Yeah, exactly. On right? titanium, obviously. Yeah. Um, well, what did so, you think of the Titanic? Okay. I mean, that wasn't too bad, actually. Um, yeah, obviously, yeah. it was a bit too low, but uh, I guess that really just. So, what are the, we saying here? We're thinking like 640, 6, 620 to 640 is probably, probably the probably, sweet. Yeah. The sweet so, so, 6. Yeah, yeah. 6, six to 640. Six yeah. I'd say anywhere in between yeah. there, you're, you're pretty safe. 6 yeah, and add some nice. if it's a bigger dab. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, we're also not taking into effect this cap has perfect ceiling, which can honestly drop the temps quite a bit. Yeah. It makes a big difference having a proper cap. I went 640. I thought it was quite nice. <coughs> I think that would be perfect with a, like a not ceiling cap. Like I feel like the temperature differentials yep. kind of make sense. All yeah. right. No? Yeah. Yeah. We'll even supply the hash. Whatever you like. I don't want to do this. Come on. All right. It's for the people. Oh, I thought no you were disagreeing with what I was saying. You don't want to okay. do that. No, no, no pure no, pressure. No, no titanium for me. All right. <laughs> He dodged the bullet. Everyone, I can possibly get it on the on the wheel, and that's if that, it. That's the, if if it, that time comes, that time comes. But uh, right now, if, no comment. You know tiger, what? It's not tie as tie nail <laughs> finger crossed. <laughs> if you want a tiger to get and the you know tie what? nail, don't be too scared of it, man. It's honestly not as bad. No, it's not bad. It's, Tiny rings. Not that you're not scared bad. of it. I get it. Just you don't want to do it. We but did like, press a blunt earlier. Hey, we did press. Yeah, we did. Thanks to Tiger Supplied, one of the cognac uh, backwoods as well. Yeah. 
Um, I think there was some slaps in there. Nice. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it was enough for. We, it if it, we, it wouldn't be enough for all of us to do blunt rosin and dab if it hit, but we have enough, and we'll keep that in the fridge for our next uh, yeah. episode. And if I uh, find another blunt with holes in it, you best believe it's going to get yeah. turned in. You're going to press you go. it. That's yeah, it's boy. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that was fun, Dewey. Uh, thank you for coming up with this idea. I thought so. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see if... Uh, are we going to use this when we have guests? Or Yeah. I Maybe guess we get got them. In. See if they're down to play. I mean, they got a chance to steal the dab from us. They're not on here, so they're Maybe not going to have to get uh, a dab stolen. Yeah. But they may have to do the blunt dreaded rough. tie nail or blunt rosin blunt or tiny rosin. rig. Yeah. So if you're coming on the show, just be prepared. Yeah. You may have to spin to win. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Very nice. Well, that was fun. So um, I want to, to ask, you know, like we've pretty much, you know, in here it's pretty quiet. Yeah. And uh, obviously we're just sitting here talking. Generally, you know, there's always something playing, you know, whether we're in the shop or, or down here. Um, I'm at home. I, I like to listen to a lot of, you know, but generally always have music on when I'm dabbing. What do you guys like to listen to? Uh, like, honestly, anything. If you come in the Squish House, you know, you could pretty much walk into any genre. Predominantly 90s hip hop, I would have to say from me if dewey's running the shop it's DC. probably <laughs> dj screw houston which i'm totally cool with too because i like a lot of the southern uh music we have that in common um johnny's in there you'll probably hear riff raff which yeah. that makes me very happy yeah with. cam got me on the As, riff raff uh, big time you know yeah he's the big homie yeah. so peach, Pi- <laughs> peach panther peach panther exactly we got up there cody and elijah Juan. um but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what you'll hear. I guess everyone's got their personal preferences. But for me, it would be whatever you hear coming into the Squish House. is like old Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang is for the Nas, children. You know, Snoop. Uh, all, of, all of it. Anything, right? But yeah, then yeah. anything 90s. Well, even, even the name of the shop is a pun on the From hip-hop. Squish movie. House. Yeah. yeah, I guess we've never touched on that either. Yeah. But. And you're a, you're a screw. You're a yeah, screw head, right? Big screw head. Screwed up click. And uh, and I I always too like I I knew who DJ Screw was. That was yeah. one thing that was cool when Dewey said, uh, "Oh, I like DJ Screw," and he was surprised. And I ended up actually gifting him a Murder Dog magazine yeah, with a DJ interview. Screw interview in there. Uh, but I was always big Swisher House. Yes, uh, you know Paul Wall. When pa- Paul Wall and Chameleonaire were a group. We used to listen to to that in Illinois a little bit and um, Slim Thug with ESG. So when Still Tipping came out, it was kind of like, so now it's Mike Jones. And I don't know, it was, that's my yeah. favorite song. If you ask me one <laughs> song, it's Still Tipping. Like, so Swish yeah. House definitely has a big influence. Um, but uh, no, for me, I, I like, uh, I obviously, like Cam said, I love Jam and Screw, but a cool, like, little story about a screw tape that I was listening to up there is there's a screw would take instrumentals and then, like, him and, him and the SUC, or not really him, but the SUC would freestyle on it and stuff. And there's a song where they're freestyling over the now I know the, the song, Reason for Rhyme beat. And I remember saying to Cam, like, yeah, this is so hard. And he says, like, my reason for crime. And then, because uh, that's what the freestyle is. It's a, it's, it's same beat, different lyrics. And uh, he, he's like, "What do you mean, reason yeah, for reason crime? For that's rhyme. reason for rhyme." Eight ball and MJG. And then, like, I look up that song, and then there's a mix of Screw mixing the original song, and like to this day, like that's, that's my still tipping is that song, track, and it's cool yeah. that like, I that's know, a I, classic too. Yeah. That that's. That's so a good favorite Screw track. tapes will be a mix of all kinds of music and stuff. And I'll be I'll know the screw. I'll know the screw versions of it. And it's not named the same as what it's remixed. And then I have Cam, who's a walking <laughs> like encyclopedia, encyclopedia of, of uh, music uh, knowledge. Unnecessary yeah. hip-hop knowledge. <laughs> no, it's necessary, <laughs> man. It's great. And yeah. like I'll I'll Thank be like, who, where is this from? Where is this this? And name it off, whoever it is. And it's cool. I love like learning deeper. Um, like knowledge about the music that's 
that I'm listening to. Well, it's like, where's this beat from? Cool. And like, yeah. I thought that I thought that he made this beat. And then he's like, no, that's this song, this song. And I was like, oh, I get to listen to it. the original. I get to listen to the mixed version. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy knows a lot about it. <laughs> well, I find that you tend to put a lot of songs on in the shop. Let them like, I know this song, but I haven't heard it in like years. Because it was something I listened to as a kid. Yeah. And I used to like a lot, and then I definitely forgot there. about it over the years. And it's like, oh I know God, the other day yeah. you were freaking out when we had Bone Crusher. Yeah, yeah, that was one of them. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then even today, I think I went up and that 50 Cent album was on there. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I We've definitely listened to this lot. album that when I was a kid. Mercy. A lot, a lot of that um old shit is yeah. like super under. And that's like even middle, middle for me, because I don't you know, I'm a lot older for sure. Like uh came up in the 90s. So you know, even uh, some of that stuff that is really close to me because that's like when I was in high school, or like just coming out of high school. A lot of that music. I'm in my early twenties. That's what was playing in the clubs or whatever. Right? Yeah. So it's like nostalgic. I'm, kind I'm of, jealous uh, of that. Your young era, you know. From 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 like my generation, I was born in '96, right? So like for my generation, I don't really like. I don't really have any old CDs from when like, oh, like this album came out, this album came out. Because like none of the music that I liked was coming out. It was already out. out. Yeah. So it's like, why would I, like, it's not why would I go and buy it. But like, yeah, I, would just, there is I would listen to it on streaming out, things, this, sure. that, and the other thing. So like, it's different for me because like Cam has tapes and stuff from when he was in high school. But for me, like I'm going back and I'm like, oh, like I'm going to find that on eBay. I'm going to want a physical copy of it because I like listen to it way back then like it's the opposite yeah it's i, I, I like got I'm jealous Apple mjg coming out hard uh, and, uh, you jealous know, man. cassette tape. <laughs> jealous nah, zilmatic cassette tape but yeah i mean uh that's you're my brother's age yeah oh yeah so he he exactly. came up listening because also he's my younger brother so he was influenced a little bit he listened to his own stuff but he definitely got put on to I remember, like, he like Big Punisher. We were listening to him the other day. Oh, Big okay. Pun's Some shit. dope yeah. ass. Yeah, man. I don't know. And, like, I, again, I'll listen to some new stuff, especially because of Kate. You know, uh, if you don't know, Kaylin, my fiance, uh, co owner of Squisha House, definitely puts me on to yeah, some of the newer yeah. music. And, you know, uh, a little bit from Riff, I'll get put on to newer stuff, but it's fewer and far between. Like, when normally if I'm going to a concert or something, it's like the last show I went to was Nas Wu Tang and, like, it's just the energy of that. I don't know. So yeah, when yeah. I when I'm dabbing or chilling or whatever, that's what I want to listen yeah. to. It brings me back, you know. It's kind of like uh, I don't know. But what about what about yourself? You brought I'm, up uh, the topic up, right? <laughs> I according to Spotify, it's apparently just Future. But <laughs> yeah. you do like Future? I yeah, I, can, I, I uh, definitely bump a, a lot of that. Future. But um, honestly, I'm. I play a lot of new music. Um, no specific genres. I find, like, over the last couple of weeks, I've really been bumping a lot of a genre called funk. Okay. Drift drift funk. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Uh, I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right. It's spelled P-H-O-N-K. Oh. Yeah. But it's, um, yeah, it's just like, it's apparently a genre that came about for drift videos. Oh, I know what oh. this is. I know what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like the whole, is. like a lot of the songs Xavier, sound very It's almost similar. like Xavier Wolf type beat. It's not quite Xavier Wolf, but like some of the style that Xavier Wolf does. He does the Tokyo Drift song, but like there's other ones too. Yeah, yeah. so um, it's it's essentially just, you know, like they a lot of them kind of blend together. But it's just interesting for me because um, I'm just hearing almost the same instruments, but in such a different way every single time like everyone flips it their own way and has their own creativity yeah, or the like same style it's the same yeah. style but it's, it's sometimes even the same instruments like yeah. to the t but they're done in a different manner it's like a different like completely different vibe like it's just interesting yeah but well, yeah. i'm all like I, i'm kind of all over the place like yeah. you know got music tatted right here like married, married to the, the game music, yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that's cool I was like us. We were listening to what, like that Baby Huey, uh, Hard Times, yeah. whatever Crazy yeah. Town. Or I heard it because I was watching this um, mafia thing on Netflix, and it was like the intro. And I know Ghostface, well, RZA sampled it for. I wish I could remember the name of the song off top, but they sampled it. 
And I was like, oh shit, that track's hard as fuck. I remember like, you know, hearing the, from then hearing the same. That's kind of the cool thing I think I will say about the hip hop when I was coming up is you would hear samples and then it's like, where did that come from? Like you want to hear the like yeah. original song. You go back yeah. to the Marvin Gaye or that's like yeah. this or that. Well, that's you know actually I mean? happening now with a whole new generation. Like everyone's, especially with the whole drill scene, they're just taking like essentially pop songs and like just all kinds of songs that, you know, that uh, the, the the modern, you know, rap or trap listener wouldn't gravitate towards or even drill listener. And putting they're literally like, oh, okay, it, yeah. yeah. And well, it's just because it's just flipping the sample in such a unique way. Or, you know, where did I hear this? Like, I remember this, right? There's a lot of that well, now. Oh, well, yeah, I was going to say, man, like crazy right now. We'll be listening in the shop to a song. And within two seconds, I'm pulling up the original. The original. And I'm like, this yeah. is Noriega. They're all like this Billie Eilish song or whatever. I'm like, this is Noriega with Pharrell. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm like, this beat is totally, it's been done. And it's like every song that comes out now, it's a play on an older track. Yeah. And you know who especially get taken like this is 3-6 Mafia for sure. Yeah. You know, it's kind of crazy to hear their stuff. But even things like you'll hear, I know he pays homage and whatever, but uh, this 21 Savage Drake album plays and there's the one where uh, yeah, he bites he's styles. rapping yeah. like T.I., or whatever, and that and it like brings you back. You're like, oh shit, this is like, you know what I mean? Like they'll take the yeah, beat kind music, of yeah. and 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 redo yeah. it or whatever. And yeah, I hear that like crazy though now. Like you'll hear a beat and you're like, oh, I've already heard this nostalgia from time ago. Yeah. It, like brings you back, right? It's kind of cool. Um, on that same album that you were talking about, the the Drake. Um, no, it wasn't the Drake Twenty One. Uh, yeah, it was the Drake Twenty One. Um, they had the the Daft Punk flip. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was really cool to see uh, someone flip that. That's cool. Well, Cam, the other day, or we were listening to. I was talking about Cameron. Flips. You're talking about no, you know we we're listening to. Um, I you know uh, I know he's not he's he's not Cam the topic Ron. you want to talk. Well, it was Cam. Cam it was Cam. It was that um one of Kanye's early tracks before he came out. Uh, on oh, the no. on the dream team oh, no. on the dream team mixtape oh, okay, for okay. Aiden Full yeah and it's the We Are the Champions and it's yeah. got like Beanie Siegel, Cameron, Kanye, Twista. It's the introduction of Twista coming to the rock, and it's over the Queen. We are the champions. Yep, I remember that. And he was freaking the out. Second, yeah. The second, so like the intro happened, and I was like, okay, like this sounds like a Cameron track. Da, 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 da. Going about my thing, and then all of a sudden, like the beat drops, and I hear the the like the the loop you know the loop the drop in the loop and i'm like dude i've heard this beat before like i've heard this beat before like i'm not doubting that this was first but i've heard this done and like now i know where the beat is from and like like we were saying it's just like cam saying it's like relatively i get what he means it's like it's useless knowledge but like i just want to know where that started and where it got bit looped and then someone who's in a studio somewhere going like okay yeah, yeah it's good and it's like, I don't know. That's so no, rad to know the background Wiz, front. Wiz, Wiz Khalifa, Khalifa phone numbers. It's the same, the same loop. Sample, right? But like the Wiz Khalifa song doesn't have any of the intro. So that's why I didn't know where it was from. I just heard the the loop. I never heard the uh, the We Are The Champions crazy intro. track. Check it out. Yeah, it is. Real. I like yeah. both. Yeah. I like stuff like that though. Yeah. I like when you hear old beats being used or this or that. You know, sampling is kind of funky but when you hear how old tracks were made um damn yeah it's kind of crazy how much stuff they'll take like from three or four different songs and just make one beat you know yep. like, i um i find myself actually kind of going back to that style right now yeah. um computers are fun but i feel like the way that ai has come into things and the way technology has increased in like a lot of these programs it's not fun it's anymore. Using the human, yeah. It's feel. it's just yeah. like you just yeah. click buttons like and like just yeah, making. and there's a beat and you're like, okay, cool. Like it sounds good. You and almost need that human error. Yeah, I've even heard Mob Deep say like Havoc say on beats like there's a slight if you listen to it, just the sample it's off, like it's it skips and it's off. But when you listen to the whole beat, it's, it it just works. Exactly. And he's like if a machine did this, it wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's a human error that made art. Made the art yeah. better. Yep. It made the song better. It wasn't yeah. supposed it's to be It's like the same that. reason we don't smoke out of rigs that are made in molds. 
Exactly. You know, we make we, we like rigs that are made by hand, like that. Yeah. It's made by someone. Yeah, yeah. it's mm-hmm. got a human touch, not human error. It's human artistic skill, right? But like same, yep. same, same sort of thing. It's human. Comment below. Tell us what music you're listening to. Yeah, I'm sure you people know? out there listen to AI music. <laughs> hey, AI that's horns. your thing. That's your thing. Do we have a fire or mids? Oh, oh, we, we do. We do. Oh, that damn. Johnny's yeah. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a lot of dives. Big so, hit, man. Uh, <laughs> this week I've got Twix salted caramel. Oh hell yeah, I want to try that. And I got the the sharing size, which has four bars, so it works out perfectly. Okay, right. Sharing oh, is really? caring, right? Um, you're bringing stuff that's like you know, sounding very fire just off the hop. <laughs> yeah. Do we do you want us to try some not fire sounding things? Oh uh, no! I mean, just okay. I mean, I'm I don't asking know how viewers as well. Like, I talked. I'll, like maybe they do. I, I talked to my guy, and he asked me. I, I was on the phone with him today. I talked to him. I was on the phone with him. I said, I "said," he's like, "Not today, but I'm getting stuff this week. Like, is there any specific requests?" And I was like, "I want stuff that I can't read." And okay. Like, okay. So, like, there you go. I'm gonna try and get as weird as possible. Salted caramel. Okay. Maybe for after your dad, no? No, this has a while to go. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I got that ready. You can taste the salt. Yeah. I, uh... Just make every Twix this. <laughs> yeah. What Johnny said. Yeah, superior Twix. Oh God, it's so good. Mm. Mm, so Speechless. good. Speechless. Good. <laughs> it's just really good. Yeah, it's very good. Oh my God. If you can get them, get them. Definitely. So what is that? A rare treat? Or is it out of the stores right now? I don't know. I I just saw it. I had never tried it before. I've never really seen it before, and it looked good, so I picked it up. So keep an eye out. Up the package, but <laughs> Twix salted caramel, fire, fire, yeah, fire. salty. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> and you had time. You were right. Yep. Perfect. So that's set for five twenty-five. Even got more time. Ready. That's just a warning in case I don't have a dab ready. You love that. Mm. I kind of want to do the tie nail dab the right way. Now. I love these rigs, man. Oh, massive. Massive glass. These function. are incredible, honestly. And the price on them was like two, 220, 230, yeah. maybe 250. Yeah. These things are amazing. It's clean, too. Like, I don't know. It's just. That was legitness. Yeah, it was. Hot. I'm not going to lie. It's making me want to get myself a uh, a nice clear piece. <coughs> yeah, I don't think I have any solid clear piece. Mm. You guys were sleeping because I acquired one. Shout out to, I forget his IG, who scooped it off me, though. Oh, so yeah. I told you same guy, you, same guy you got the RBR. Oh, yeah. I got the yeah. Uh, is that it? No, this is mine. But as soon as uh, he said he had a 1.5 up for what he wanted, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll take that for sure, right? Because uh, yeah. these are um, gems. If you have he one, you make know. Him, right? Yep, no, he, he does not make them anymore. <laughs> even if you get another recycler out of him, I do believe, unless things have changed since, but at the time, this was retired. Yeah, I believe that's as far as Which I know. Which is as fine well. with me. Yeah, I'm sure you're up. Tyga, have you been straight cold starting the whole time? Wow. <coughs> I have. So, like, I that's something that that hap- that I get asked too is like, how do I dab without a temp device? That's a question I get asked cold quite source. often, and I usually just say cold starts. Yes. And if you're set, if you're set on not doing a cold start, then try and eliminate all the variabilities. Use a full torch, time your heat up, and time your cool down, and even smoke the same size dab. And then just adjust the time from there. Just try and make it 
everything as same, 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 and then adjust. Also, like how full your torch is can make a massive difference. That's why I'm saying your like, torch is almost out of yeah. tain. Like it's gonna take a lot longer to heat up. Yeah. So and sometimes you can't. You don't even know until it's too late. So that was the grandpa stash. Score eight eight nine. Oh, you know what? Eight point nine. I like that one. I'm gonna try the scrape skittles and give it a score. Oh, there you go. You opened it. You want to try it? Yeah. All right. I just had some of the Nugs Turple, and I'd say it's a solid 8.5. 8. 8.5? 8. Okay. Oh, we never, did we say copper drop or I said fire, yeah, I said yeah. fire. I said fire. What'd you say? I'll cop that, yeah. Good fire? Yeah. Mm. Terps were just living inside there. Want to be that bubble of air? Yeah, Wouldn't that be nice? That eh? was a party for a while. I wish I could be in that bubble. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 is it very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so describe it for the listeners. Uh, this is like a wetter yeah, hash than I wet. would usually like, but it smells very interesting. The jar I had I'm was smell a blind, bit drier, so I'm going to get someone else to. I would say this smells like. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. See, like, yeah, like, <laughs> I've never ever seen that listed as, like, I'm a, smell a, blind, okay? As a potential, like, smell profile. Weird, Does it smell like oatmeal? No. Okay. Yeah. Smell blind, man. I'm pretty sure the Fanta did it to you. <laughs> no. I've always been smell blind. You gotta reset with some coffee beans. It smells like peas or something. Trick, yeah. Ever since I cut my brother like in half. Ever, Jeez, that's an interesting one peas, too. Man. Ever since I cut my <laughs> and to me, I don't know. Ever since I cut my brother in half, I've been smell blind. So. What do you think that smells like? Mm. To me? Mm-hmm. What did I say again? Oatmeal? It smells like frozen peas, man. <laughs> it smells like GMO and grape. <laughs> I'm not hating. I, that's what I, I know. Think it I'm, smells like. I'm sure I it tastes that. amazing, but yeah. it looks delicious. This is one thing, though, I was talking with uh, Dewey about. So some of these jars, right? It's not like a sweet grape. It's like a, yeah, what do you like think? a stinky grape. I, I get find... Like, I, get the, I get the berry terps, but I also get like the... Uh, I guess a bit of berry, but... It's like a, a wet kush. It, you don't smell oatmeal? <laughs> I'm smell no, blind. No. I want to know what it's No tastes oatmeal. Like. It was like berry Probably and wet oatmeal. kush. Wet kush? Yeah, it's the like best. A, like positive way or negative way? Uh, Positive. It smelled okay. like it smelled like it was like the flour was fresh as opposed to uh, like cured. Right. So it, it's that freshness to swim by wet. Right. Oh, shit. shit. This is on opaque mode. That's what oh, I'm womp womp! Going in I, I'm not a dab right person, so I don't know what that means. You dab left, eh? <laughs> it's got two <laughs> settings, I believe. Uh, one for quartz. It's still too hot for uh, even though it's on quartz. Yeah. Well, one thing I like was talking with Dewey about yesterday because he was smelling some of these jars, and it's like a bigger jar with only I don't know. I mean, at the time, it maybe had eight grams in there or something, right? Smell oatmeal. And at first, he was like. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like off the smell, just smelling it really quick. And that was one thing I was going to say, like with these jars where it's closer, you can get the terps really quick. But I find with this kind of jar, if you've got a bigger baller jar or something and only have so much in the bottom, you really have to give like more of like a slow, long. Yep. Whiff yep. For oh, sure. yeah, for sure. And you pick up all the terps, right? It's almost like that air There's... there. Just like, yeah, exactly. You just jump in and give a whiff. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. just going to smell like jar air. Yeah. Then when he did that, he was like, oh, it's a totally different smell now, right? So blew my mind. It's actually um, differently every time now. There's uh, two ways of doing or inhaling um, dabs as well. So there's the direct to lung. And then there's the the mouth to lung. With the mouth to lung, you're going to taste the terps. 
the way you know, uh, the way you know, if like you might be asking, what is the difference, and how do I know what if one I'm doing? If your if your cheeks are kind of sucking in when you're inhaling, you're you're going into your mouth, yeah. and if you're you find that you need to kind of like do a neck another level of inhale after you finish your dab or you finish your toke, then you're doing a mouth to lung. Uh, direct to lung is literally just inhaling goes into your lungs, you exhale, and that's it. You won't taste it as much because it's essentially not, you're not doing it around in your mouth for a little bit. It's not like hitting your tongue and your taste yeah, buds. Yeah. Now, this also applies to flower smoking as well. Because yeah. that's how I found out about this initially. Because I kept getting res lips every time I'd hit my bowl. And I was like, why is this happening? I don't understand. You were going mouth to lung? Yes, yeah, so apparently. Which that's you- probably what I think I do I'm not sure I'd have to see if I, I feel like that's what I think it is right and then um if you can't if you find you can't smoke your bowl without your cheeks getting pulled in pack the bowl looser so it doesn't happen mm-hmm. and I find that fix it I wasn't getting res lips after that even on like massive bowls like I initially I always wanted to pack them tight as tight as possible to get as much in there yeah but that co- creates enough yeah, restriction yeah, that it almost forces you to do mouth to lung because you're not getting enough airflow. And then you start creating that vacuum in your mouth, which is why your cheeks get pulled in. Okay. And then the resin gets on your lips instead of, I don't know, directly into your lungs, I guess. Like, I don't know where the resin goes elsewhere, but. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why people use the mouth, the mouthpiece filters as well, because it captures all that resin, essentially. Yeah, that's true. Right. I'm I'm going to give that. And nine one. That's good. I like that a lot. What did that taste like? Oatmeal. It tasted like oatmeal yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> so like, so yeah, oatmeal like berry. Terps translated. Oat, a little berry, but like mostly like the berry like, oatmeal at least. I don't know, like a little bit of like. What kind like of oatmeal? oatmeal was, it like the, was it like the instant oatmeal? Like you know, like the 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 Quaker packets, like the instant one. Like was it like the berry packet? Brown sugar, Dino eggs. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All nice right. Yeah. All right. It's good. Very good. I don't know if that's the highest score I've given yet, but that's the highest score. That is. It given. could be. It a could nine be nine one. <laughs> it just tastes like oatmeal. If you, I like me some oatmeal, man. I agree. I like oatmeal too. It's, but it's a lot of people, breakfast. I don't know if they're looking for oatmeal. Oatmeal. Hash. Terps, yeah. I'm also. Yeah. I'm also smell blind, so. <laughs> <laughs> It might affect the taste. Yeah. That's true. I don't. I don't think it tastes like oatmeal. So I guess there's that. What do you taste? You you've had this a bunch. Yeah, I've yeah? had it. Yeah, I think it tastes pretty grapey. Like, it's like a stinky grape, like a GMO grape. It's like a stinky grape. I like it. I guess more berryish. Not maybe necessarily grape, but the fuck am I smelling pee? The, the grape <laughs> might be like uh, what's that term? Like you might think it's grape just because it's named grape, but it's definitely like a sweet berry grape. Yeah, it's a berry term with, with like a funk. The heavy yeah. funk. Like I'm getting a bit more of a sweetness, but still that initial. Hey, I'm gonna stir it up a bit. If you Maybe stir it up a bit, loosen up some of them terps, you'll definitely smell it better. Mm. Mine was dry, drier, so maybe you got a different batch. He's also had it sealed for a while. That's true. That can make a difference. Potentially. Now it smells like those little sesame seed crackers to me. <laughs> I love the description. And oatmeal. And oatmeal. Like those oh. sprinkled in oatmeal. <laughs> Bro. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. I guess that's how I ta- describe the taste. That's how I describe it. Yeah. That's what I smell. Man. Sesame seed oatmeal. Mm. I'm not the best person to ask, though, I guess. I'm well, smell blind. Smells man. are subjective. That's true. That's true. That's true. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was good enough to uh, get one of Dewey's highest ratings, so that'd be good. Shout out Canadian dabs. Uh, yeah. Shout out. So yeah, and uh, with that, I think uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Make sure you're following the Instagram at Sorry We're Dabbing Podcast. And subscribe to the YouTube. Thanks so much for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Oh, yeah. Good episode, guys. Hey, boys. The wheel was pretty good. The wheel was good. I like yeah. that.
I didn't like losing a dad, but I like getting one back. So thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Johnny. Same thing. Yeah.